one. Hello, this is Drakmir, and we are in Project 1999 with a group of friends, and we are at Orc 2, and I am pulling, I'm a cleric, and what? we have what? our necromancer, who is ZK, or Veldeth. What's going on, YouTube ZK? I was going to say there was an orc that was approaching you to your behind you, but he was it was just a pawn, don't worry. Yeah. But, and basically, Veldeth is a, 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 a dark elf on blue, but he's an enchanter. This is a necromancer, and so it's a different class, and I'm looking forward to playing something different. Yeah, this is the red server, by the way. Yeah. Absolutely. We also have Dark Dragon. Playing Murana, the level 9 wizard. And also AC. Uh, hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode, and I'm playing my level 11 enchanter. Learn and the I'm about the pole. <laughs> <laughs> if I had the right me. spell on. Good luck, man. I, I wish you the best, because uh, you're about to die here in a second. Hey, wait a minute now. We had uh, <laughs> that pretty good last time. Yeah, that's true. And I'm going to go ahead and mez the um, the oracle if you do happen to pull more than than you want. Oh, oh, oh no, yeah. Because he's the highest level. Right. So let's see how this goes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Did it work? Yeah. 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 Uh, that's one. That's one. Three more. Actually. Yeah, yep. Just, yep. Just, we got that. Got that. That's Oracle, and then pull the other two. Yep. And. Oh, there, there you we go. go. You got the there Oracle. There we go. Single pull, guys. Congrats, man. Single. Pull, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Let me run up there and get a hit. There we go. My pet's uh, nice and auto now. Alright. And, um... Is the Necromancer pet actually the one taking the damage? No. Mm, yeah, my guy's already down to 70. Okay. Alright, um... Can you... Can enchanters turn the, uh... Taunt off on their pets? Nope. I can't do anything with my pet. I can't control him in any way. Other than to tell him to go die. Like, I have that okay, ability. Okay, stun. Rooting him now. There we go. Root it and dead. Okay, um, just be careful not to get too close. Um, gonna go ahead and reload. If you can pull the left two, that would be fine because the apprentice would die quickly. How how amazing is this pulling? How, how amazing is that? You're doing a pretty good <laughs> job, man. <laughs> it's actually a whole lot of luck. It's, that's called failing. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Got a little bit of aggro there. Now, what are you guys thinking of the different classes that you're playing? Are you uh, you liking the new one, or are you kind of uh, you know craving the old one that you guys used to play? I like I'm, it. I'm fine with this. I I like actually being able to um, not only be able to heal the group, but as well as throw myself at the mobs if we have to. Especially since we don't have our warrior with us today. Right. It's kind of weird. We were just in a group in Soleil uh, with our mains, and now we are all still together, but we're playing reverse. Like, you're playing the Cleric, which is what I was <laughs> playing. I'm playing the Enchanter, which is what Veldeth was playing. Veldeth is playing the Necro, which is what Marana was playing. And Marana, you're just playing something different. <laughs> so you're like the odd one out, but... We kind of just switch roles, basically. It's, it's yeah, weird. But I just want my Necro Mana Regen back. Thank you. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, so I'm ready if you guys uh, are for this last my, one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so it's going to be easy. I'm going to root the Centurion, and you pull the Apprentice. Actually, go ahead and um, blast the Apprentice as soon as you see me I'm, start to cast on the Centurion. I already started. Wow, that look worked awesome. Yeah, you're doing a fantastic job with that. Oh, what did you fear? No, oh, I didn't. No, it was, oh, he's it's, almost dead. Yeah, that mob is uh, very low level. And again, it's one of those weird things. Why in the world would you add that mob uh, to these guys? My whenever... pet is taking this one. Well, it just right. uh, it comes down to he has a chance at spawning higher level ones. It just happened to spawn a low level one in there. Because I yeah. think no, I think you could actually yeah. find this entire camp filled with orcs uh, oracles. 
you know, just uh, it's a probability yeah. that it won't happen, but uh, you know, it could. You can, but the apprentices are always way lower hit points. Right, but that's what I'm saying. Like, you can come over here and you can find all four of these spots, or all five, because there is a roamer that moves back and forth, completely and totally filled up with the highest level mobs that can spawn over here. Not likely, we, but it's possible. We do these alpha? What, the belts? Yeah. Do the, do the alpha. I'm You're not up. taking any belts this time. You're, first, you're first up, AC. I was going to yep. say, I already have like four belts on me and I haven't turned any of them in, so you guys are, are welcome to them. Yeah, I'm not going to even... You want to roll for them, Dutharaka? No, nah, we'll, we'll just do alpha between the two of us. Alright, that's fine. Go ahead, take it. There we go. He does not like being mezzed. <laughs> that is a good <laughs> aggro pull right there. Get a one shot so I can back up. Just go ahead and oh. run up and mez him. No, this is one shot. Well, no, I'm not trying to one-shot kill him. I'm one-shot trying to get aggro so my pet will get in the fight because that's the only way I can get him in there. Uh, yeah. Is it the same way when you charm an, uh, an animal or, uh, you know, an NPC? Do you have control over him, or does he only attack yeah. what attacks you? You, 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 have char you have control of whatever you charm. Oh, okay, that's even better than I should have gotten the charm, but it's so expensive. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I grabbed him for you. There we go. Get that I little pet in there. Don't forget your pet. Oh, um, what I do for a necro, um, for my assist key, I'll do assist name, next line, forward slash stand, third line, forward slash pet space kill. And then it gives the server time to know what you have targeted so your pet doesn't glitch out. Is it pet kill or is it pet attack? Pet kill. It'll do, um... But Cypher, I wanted to ask you a question about one of the videos that you were doing, on, if you don't mind. I don't know if you're... Okay. You want to stick it to just uh, what we're doing on the game or not, but... No, it's fine. Uh, yeah, I wanted to ask you about that new game you were doing, that uh, Grow Home. Mm -hmm. I missed uh, the first couple episodes on it. And I was kind of curious, what's the storyline in that one? Is that a, uh, is there an, a, an actual objective that he's trying to get? Or is it just one of those ones where you have to go around and like collect stuff like Ratchet and Clank? And that one has a storyline, but it's primarily for me anyways when I played it, just to go around and collect like all the biggest weapons. Because I saw you got a jetpack in there, which is, you know, really cool. Yeah, the actual story to it is... Um that you are a robot that is um, trying to harvest, or not harvest, but grow a tree. Uh, it's called the star tree, and it has star fruit in it. And um, it's something that your ship is asking you to to uh, loot or to to get to get it to grow. And the way you grow it is by actually getting the uh, stalks. To the islands that have these power cells in them. So once you do that, then you you're growing it. The side quest or the side thing and the reason uh, in the second video, I was um, I was actually working on getting those crystals. Those crystals give you special abilities. So the first crystal that you get gives you the ability to jump. The second one allows you to. Um, uh, to control your camera better. The third one gives you your jetpack, and uh, the fourth one is a better jump uh, jetpack, and so on. I don't like but, that. Uh, you you don't like what? Get, you shouldn't have to get an in-game item to be able to control your camera better. Pop. Well, no, it's it's something. It's not that it controls your camera better so much. It gives you a widescreen uh, pulled back view. And, yeah, that should be uh, in there normally. No, I don't think so because it actually helps you in a way that would only um, be effective <laughs> if you um, if you were higher level anyway. Because you once you sorry, yeah, uh, once you get up into the higher areas, you pretty much use that camera only to look for. Uh, places for you to get handholds, or if you're upside down, 
which is hilarious in that game, just trying to figure out what you're going to do. There's a point where in that second video where I was hanging upside down and I tried to reach to grab and I just fell off the tree. Right. And, <laughs> and there was nothing I could do about it. Yeah, it, it seems like a very uh, cool little game. Is it uh, completely out or is it still in development? No, it's completely out. And um, the once you complete certain things, like uh, once you finish by getting the, uh, the tree all the way to the top which is going to probably take a few more episodes easily um, you get to a point where you have to get those fruit and the fruit uh, whenever you get all of them will give you uh, a different skin that will actually increase certain stats like your jump ability uh, or the amount that your backpack um, will allow you to boost for and uh, there's already one skin in the game that gives you like um, the, um, the the sugar skull. Do you know what I'm talking about when I say sugar skulls? No, not yet. Like I said, I only watched that one episode because I've been pretty busy this week. But from what I've seen, I like it. So I have to go back and watch the other ones. Yeah, uh, I only have one other episode before and I'm going to be posting another one uh, here on Saturday, which is... Um, I'm going to show all the skins that you can be right now. And there's two that you have to unlock. See, that's cool. I like it when games do that route rather than the route that it seems like uh, so many of them have gone in the past, uh, or at least recently anyways, where it's just like, go do this, get, you know, 100 shots with a weapon in the head. You get an achievement. Achievement doesn't do anything for you. Yeah. Uh, if you ever played the game uh, Psychonauts? I have, yeah. Do you remember in that one where I think you collected a certain number of, like, bad memories or whatever it was that was the collection in that one, and uh, it would unlock stuff for you, and it would be... Some of it was useful, some of it wasn't, and at later levels, if you got everything, you got, like, the ability to recharge or regenerate, which was just amazing for, like, the last bad guy. And yeah, it really kind of added to, you know, your, your ability to uh, play your class or your character just because you did all those achievements and that I, I find that to be rewarding it's kind of like in this game where you level up and as you level up you feel more uber because you have earned it you know like you did something to earn that level yeah and so I should know, I'm not, never mind about that about it. yeah the uh the thing i i don't like is that you have every game now especially if you get games on steam Every game has these achievements as if they're great achievements that will help you because you got them. Right. And all it is is just to say, I got and it, I, I did it. I killed yeah, it. I, yeah, I like that's the actual <laughs> for achievement. My, my viewers know exactly how I feel about Steam, so I'm, I'm not even going to delve into that pot again. But <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah, it's so many of us have for a long time been completely and totally rewarded with older video games. Those of us who grew up with video games when they first started know exactly what I'm talking about. The programmers, they went the, the extra mile because it was a passion for them. They weren't making tons of money off of video games when they first came out. And so when you went off down a secret corridor and you found just the greatest suit of armor in the world, it meant a whole lot to you. It was fantastic. And it meant a whole lot to the programmers to know that people were actually taking the time to go look for that stuff. Nowadays, yeah. they put these achievements in, oh, get 100,000 headshots uh, on an orc while you're jumping upside down and flying off your motorcycle. Something ridiculously hard that you're never going to do unless you you know, specifically read that in the description and be like, oh, let me go get that. And then when you get it, like you said, you don't get anything other than the little thing lights up and says, oh, you got the achievement. You know, well, that's, that's not rewarding to that me. And that's something that they're now doing in EverQuest 2, is they have those kind of achievements. Some of them actually give things. Oh, but there yeah. are things like if you've completed every raid in the game, which not everyone's ever going to be able to do. Or uh, I killed such and such um, zone. I've, what? But, oh, sorry, I, I, sorry I, I, I targeted the wrong person. <laughs> oh, was what, he attacking? Were you trying, who were you trying to target? I was trying Buddy. to touch that orc pawn. Oh. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to give him pat weapons, and all of a sudden his pet comes up and starts bashing me in the back of the head. 
Yeah, I remember on uh, EverQuest 2, I did all the uh, the achievements for doing the quest in the zone. Just because I was yeah. bored that day, and I was like, I'll just go back. Maybe eventually they're going to do something with these achievements, but it seems like they don't. They didn't in that one, at least. You don't get anything special for, for doing all the achievements there. And there is a yep. uh, line back here, guys. I thought you... Uh oh, I was going to say. I thought you pulled the uh, lion. I did pull him. I'm just saying, like, I don't know if my vet <laughs> can take him all by himself. He's at 20% uh, yeah. right there, so... Uh, now right, he's at 3%? Uh, 0%? Oh, didn't get him. Didn't get it. There he goes. Pet is back. Look at that. Sexy pet. Back with the vengeance. There you go. You root it. Whew. See, the, the cool thing about the enchanter pet is... You can use it, and it's a pretty good tank, even though you can't control it. But as soon as it dies, you could just... There's another one. Yeah, yeah, yep. it's, it's nice. Uh, I can't wait until I can start charming people as well, because that is going to be equally as fast from what I've been told. Although, when it breaks, it's pretty nasty from what I've seen with ZK. I mean, yeah. he, he knows how to handle it, so he's able to quickly recover. But for me, I think... Oh, should I attack this Kodiak? Probably um, not. Yes. 12, 12 oh, mana. 12 mana? Okay, let me come back then. Oh, you guys pulled? But yeah, I, I do like the game that you're playing, uh, you know, lately because it does seem like they reward you with uh, with exactly what I was talking about. It kind of brings yeah. me back to that old school gameplay, which I and crave. They could have done it different. They could have um, said, hey, we're going to make it a DLC and you have, you have to pay for it to get certain skins. Yes. But they didn't. And um, it actually, um, it was an update that came out and they, they just gave it to us. See, they don't have to be greedy. Every so often throw the game or something and they're appreciated. You know, I love, absolutely love the Fallout series. And uh, I love the... Uh, the Mass Effect series. Mass Effect, unfortunately, went a different route, and they decided that day one, there would be download content. And then they said that, oh no, we produced this after the fact, that's why it's not included in the day one game. Even if that was the case, which it turned out not to be later on, but even if it was the case, nobody wants to buy a game for 60 70 $80 just to find out that the exact day that it came out, you need to pay an extra 15 20 bucks to download an additional part of the game. To make yeah. matters worse, they actually went into the game. They, the, the hackers who went into the coding would actually look at it and they'd be like, no, you can see right here, there's a giant chunk of coding missing. And it fits in perfectly with this. Like, it was put in there and then they were removed. It wasn't something like they finished the game and then added it on after the fact. It would look different if they did that. No, it was actually in the coding and was written when the game was written and then removed later down the road. At least on the articles that I wrote or I, that I read. But, yeah, it's just... Uh, you, wrote, you wrote an article? <laughs> yeah, I've actually written many articles, but not on that <laughs> subject. But, uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's, it's funny to see that. And then uh, outrageous at, at the same time to see that companies will do that. And I'm hoping they learn their lesson, but I don't think they did because their ending on that game was just outrageously bad. And their response mm -hmm. to fixing that was just kind of a snub. Like, here's your ending because you guys wanted uh, a better one, but it sucked just as bad, so haha, -ha, you know, you guys still lose. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I like video game companies that haven't forgotten where they came from. They haven't forgotten that gamers kind of demand a little bit more than, uh, than most other mediums. You know, they're not like people who read books. They're not like people who read or watch movies. Uh, they're a combination of all those factors because you can get all of that okay. in, a, in a video game. Yeah, we're the centurion. The, let's kill the oracle. We're the illiterate generation. We don't know. How to That's not true. There's a plenty of video gamers out there that love to read. Like this game right here. This game is a lot of text. When you're doing quests, you have to go through the text. They don't. They don't read it to you. They don't have voice actors in this game, and you have to sit there and type out and figure out what the the right response is. So why is your pet sitting next to me? <laughs> I mean, because he's not in the fight. Oh. <laughs> no, it looked like it was actually sitting next to me, not like, you know, next to you. Alright, rooting the centurion again. Okay, I'm missing him right now. It's dotted. Oh, wow. Well. New Oracle. How's your pet? It's 91%, pet's doing, nice. My pet's doing fine. I was gonna say, my pet's, uh, you know, full life. Come on, hit me. Hit me, there we go. <laughs> nice little trap, guys. 
Uh, Are you a, 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 a sadist? No, there we go. Masochist. But yeah, I mean, what what's your favorite game that that came out recently that you can remember maybe the last three or four years for any of you guys that has a lot of text in it? Because I bet you more than anything, if you think about it for a minute, you'll find uh, quite a few of them. Fallout 4. Skyrim. <laughs> yes, yeah, Skyrim. Holy crap, does Skyrim have a lot of reading. Jeez, yeah, I don't back. know how many books were written just for that game alone. Star, uh, Star Wars, uh, the, the MMO Star Wars that, that came out, you know, they have a storyline and you have to read all of that, and then on top of that, they have the PvP right. action as well. Valdath, the old stop Republic. running circles and loot your belt. Oh, uh, the Old Republic, you're talking about the one where they, uh, they revamped it, right? Yeah. I absolutely love the original. I haven't played the revamped version. I'm guessing it's probably the exact same, just with better graphics, and they fixed some of the glitches, glitches and some of the bugs from the original one. And it works on newer computers, I'm sure. But uh, what was your and, what's your opinion on that one? Have you played it all the way through? What the new the Star Wars: The Old Republic, the the MMO one? No, 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 no. Just the uh, the new one that they revamped. Oh yeah, I played that one. I love it, man. What about the uh, the MMO one? Did you play that one? Yep, I did. And between, uh, I mean, what what other MMO would you compare it to if you had to compare it to one? I don't know, man. Is it like it's... EverQuest in a way? Is it like a... Oh, uh... oh, yeah, it's like EverQuest in WoW, except, you know, it's got a lot, of, like, you know, it's got a... I don't know, man. It's, 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 it's unique in its own way, but at the same time, you know, it's got a lot of features. I mean, it's got, like... The first battleground that they got in, in in that new Star Wars or that MMO Star Wars is they they got a uh, a sixteen versus sixteen. I it's some kind of ball like it's kind of like in WoW where you got to grab uh, Warsong Gulch, you know. But it's it's some kind of ball that you got to grab and you got to you know take it to the other side and take it to your team and stuff like that. So it's a sixteen versus sixteen, and at the same time they have a dialogue and they have. It's, for uh, the PvP as well, that you can uh, send people, you can send the the uh, the NPCs, to, you know, to tell them, you know, like environment, the environment, um, it'll it'll do different things with the environment and stuff, you know. So it's it's really interesting for that part of it, part of the right. game. Why are you casting off? <laughs> oh, I was just rooting it so that it wasn't uh, wouldn't beat on you. Oh yeah. Um, the thing is, so Whatever. what you're saying that's, is that that Star you know. Wars game has soccer in it. Is that is that what's going on in that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like it's yeah, it's kind of like soccer, except it's 16 versus 16, and you know you fi you fight each other for that ball and you take it to your base and stuff like that. It's so if it's kind of like soccer, it's football. I was gonna say, what exactly is soccer? I don't think I've ever heard of that sport. I know what football is, but. <laughs> no. Oh. All right, guys. I'll see how it is. My pet's taking damage here. My pet's taking damage here. No, I'm from is Texas, so football is 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 uh, nothing close to what soccer is, unfortunately. But yeah, we were very very big into football, apparently. Yeah. I don't know. Wait, I'm, what, I'm a what do you fan mean? of both. What do you mean, football? Football. football? Foosball. 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 My son ain't gonna play no foosball. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I never understand why they called it football because you only hit it with your foot once. Then all the rest it's in your hands. But soccer should be called football. Yeah, it's because it the is already taken. Fo football, <laughs> it's soccer is called football in different parts of the world, man. I always thought we did it just because, uh, you know, over here in the States, we like to thumb our nose at other people. For no reason other than to be like, oh, right, just in your face. So that's I just thought maybe that's on, why we did it, you know? That's why we drive on the right side of the road, because it was the opposite of English. It could be. I don't know. There's probably a better reason behind it, you know, and I'm sure well, there's that, a that, History yeah, Channel show on it that uh, is being done into a reality show lately now, but, uh, you know. <laughs> they used oh, to actually man. show decent shows on there about history and, and give you information. Seems like they're all reality shows now, though. But that's the actual reason why we decided to drive on the right side of the road is because it was the opposite of England. It's, it's weird. I've actually been to England before, and it's it's very very weird to drive on the opposite side than what you've become accustomed to. You, uh, for me, anyways, 
I had never really realized just how ingrained it is in you. Like, without even realizing it, you start switching back over, and that's terrifying to do at night when there's not a lot of cars on the road. And then all of a sudden, so, before you realize that there's a car coming straight at you. Well, what you need to do is, you, before you uh, go over there, you need to play games that have <laughs> that that left, uh, left hand... Um, or the right hand driving. I haven't played any driving games in forever, but I've seen the videos. They look beautiful. Do they have that in there now? Can you literally go in there and be like, I want the, the English version or the uh, the European version? Uh, yeah. You can, um, but there's... Uh, uh, here in the United States, they try to only do that with Japanese cars. You don't usually get that with the English cars. And that's just because the Japanese cars, a lot of people convert them to drift cars, which is better to have, apparently, as a right-hand drive. You're talking about in real life or in the video games? Oh, yeah. In real life, as far as video games go, um, what was it? The, not Reservoir Dogs, but um, Sleeping Dog or Sleeping... There's a game that came out not very long ago. Yeah, Sleeping and, Dogs. Yeah, Sleeping Dogs. And uh, that is a uh, left-hand yeah. drive. Oh, I have a mask already. Okay. How weird is it to drive like that on the game? I bet that's uh, I a lot of wrecks. I hurts. always, I kept running into traffic because I completely <laughs> forgot. All <laughs> <laughs> right, me too. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Um, but you guys were talking about older games. Have any of you guys ever played a game called Master of Orion? Yes, I no. love never even heard of that one. What 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 kind of game is that? Um, it's kind of, and I mean kind of very loosely. It's kind of like a civilization type game. Ooh, it's, nice. It's turn based, but the whole point of all of it is you have to take over the entire galaxy, and you can have anywhere between three and seven planets per solar system. And you can colonize each of them. You can terraform them, build up factories and all that to get up your food and your production and all that. There's butt tons of technologies that you can learn and everything. Um, my favorite is actually Master of Orion Battle at Antares, which is the second one. Ah, oh, the game is awesome. How long ago did this is. come out? <coughs> A long time ago. How did I miss this one? I love those. I, I played like the Dune and the Command and Conquer and, you know, all sorts of games like that. I'm surprised I missed this one. Yeah, it wow. was back in the 8-bit to 16-bit to games. Those are the yeah. ones that I loved. Well, those are the ones I grew I, up with. So I can, I can give you guys a link where you can actually play on a website right now for free. Yeah, well, that would be cool. Yeah, I'm definitely actually looking forward to finding games like that that are coming out now that are indies. So if any of you guys ever find any or see any, or if any of you watching the videos right now know of, you know, a game like that, that kind of fits into that RTS real-time strategy game, uh, maybe even not real-time strategy, maybe even turn-based strategy, I, I definitely enjoy those quite a bit as well. So well, the, the best thing I loved about the game is um, what order you got technologies actually determined how well you're going to do an end game. Because, like, every time you got an engine technology, it made the previous engine technologies smaller. So they take up less space on the ship. Just like weapons and all that. So if you went for the right technologies in the right order, you could fit so many weapons on your ship. It was disgusting. And my favorite weapon in the game is called a black hole generator. And mm. it does no damage, but 20 to 50% of the ships that you shoot it at are just going to disappear. So somebody could throw 10,000 ships at you, and you could make 5,000 of them just disappear in one shot. It was insane. That sounds interesting. I'll definitely have to go back and check that one out. Did you guys ever play the... Um the uh, the base or not the base it's the uh, the game O game on the uh, Windows Explorer or whatever your you know, like Chrome oh. or whatever it's it's a video game it's called O game and you go to like O game or com or something like that it sounds so familiar it's a space one and it's set by like real time so when you first start off you build you know like a silo on your planet you can build a 
you know, a gun turret. You can build the ships up in space. And at first it takes like a minute and a half. Then it goes into like taking six hours and three weeks or whatever. And you could upgrade like your nanotechnology and things of that sort. It kind of sounds exactly what, like what you're talking about. I'm way overweight, guys. I can't <laughs> take any more pet weapons. <laughs> uh, you can always uh, go sell, man. Or we can do pickles. Yep, I think that's a good idea. Oh my god, I have played this. Bagels? Yeah, no. old game. <laughs> <laughs> bagels. All right, guys. So we're bagels? going to go ahead and um, end out today. I want to go ahead and uh, thank ZK for joining us. What's going on, YouTube? ZK here. Uh, yeah, if you guys like these videos, definitely hit that like button, comment, subscribe. We also have AC Gamer. Hey, guys, and thanks again for joining us. And Dark Dragon. You only have me here for my moves. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. Subscribe. Like.